Right, hello for the for me the second time today. <laughs> so I'm wearing the same stuff as you probably saw in the first video um, because as I'm speaking, the video is now rendering. So very excited for that. It's going to go up. What's the date? On Monday, which is two days from now, um, and I'm very excited. But I'm not here to talk about the forge. Well, sort of, but I'm not here to talk directly about the forge. I'm here because I have some deliveries. Um, I have been working with the same computer for about nine years with very little upgrading, if any. Um, for those of you that have a little bit of knowledge about computers, I'm running DDR3 RAM still, which is two generations behind, and my processing unit is AM4, so it's, a, it's still a generation behind on that. I'm upgrading massively, the entire computer being renewed. Um, I'm having DDR5 RAM, DDR5 motherboard, um, the Horizon 9 790X um, processor unit, and a few other things here and there. But I'm here with today, I think, I think that's the new SSD M2 um, terabyte card so these plug straight into the motherboard and I've got my new motherboard here so without further ado let's get this open so I've been running as I said yeah, this for about yeah three to four years no cut that as I said I've been running this for about seven to nine years um, maybe even a little bit longer um, I've been running everything for so long and it's got to the point where it needs to be upgraded. One second. Right, um, so yes, I'm, it's needed to be upgraded for ages, but as I've been editing this video, well, the last video, the first video, I was checking the performance on everything. The CPU is running at 100%, the graphics card is running at 100%, and it's my PC is just slowly dying, a very painful, long death. Um, so, I thought, as you know, I plan on doing this now, it needs to be upgraded. So, here we are. So, exciting, well, exciting for me, thing one, you don't need to know about that, <laughs> which is the new, brand new motherboard. So, this is the, you can see it, yeah, just about, yeah, the ROG Strike 8650A gaming and Wi Fi. Wi Fi I don't need, I have Ethernet, but. It was on deal when I got it, so why wouldn't I? I'm very excited to open this. Um, I mean, oh, that is nice. <laughs> I'll show you that in a second. Um, my partner, my girlfriend, same one that bought me the book, um, during the summer, last summer this is, when this went up, um, she got me a new gaming case. So basically, just put a new case on the existing PC and it's white. So everything, I've been given strict instructions by my missus <laughs> to get everything as white as possible. So, which introduces the motherboard, which is beautiful, I must say. Uh, <laughs> it's been so long since I've opened stuff like this. Oh, and I'm, this is not gonna sound nice, is it? Oh. I am so happy to be unboxing this. Look at this. Oh. So on the side, I'll just show you there and then I'll talk about it. Come on, camera focus. There we go. All right, so I've got three USBs, which is, yeah, three USBs there. I've got another three there. Four, oh, sorry, try that again. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven USBs and one, a USB-C, which is very nice. I have an AM, AM5? Yeah, AM5 processing unit here. Um, so that means I can get my new processor on this when it arrives, which it hasn't yet. Um, unsure what happened there, the camera turned off. Anyway, so I can't, don't know what was caught there, but it has got the AM5 processing unit here, so that means I can get the new processor which hasn't arrived, um, as I was saying, I don't know if it was cool or not, as I was saying, um, this arrived as I was finishing up editing the first video, so I wanted to <laughs> do another unboxing, 
second one, but there you are, um, just to get this done because it's been something I've wanted to do for a very, very long time. Um, I've got some um, hard drive leads and I've got some sticky back stuff, which doesn't particularly interest me. And I've got some stickers and warranties. Completely useless to me, but I'm gonna keep this for now, put it to the side over there so I can have a look at this absolute beauty of a motherboard. So I have got, by the looks of things, it says I have some M.2s here. I'm hoping they can just plug in, but I'll find out. I don't know how small they are or anything yet. I'm gonna find that out. I've also got what I hope is the M.2 SSD in here. So, let's have a look. I was right, right. It is the PCI 4.0 M.2NVMe. No idea what half that means, and to be honest, I don't think you need to know. It's just the speeds of how stuff is transferred. Nothing massively important for you guys. But, ooh, I wanna put it all together. <laughs> um, I've only got these two today, unfortunately. The processor unit and the RAM is coming tomorrow and then finally the graphics card is coming on Monday which is when the first video will go up um, so I've got a assembling video that I'm going to do for that get out <laughs> um, and I'm just looking forward to getting it all together that is very 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 small can you see uh, look how small that is compared to my finger it's tiny um, that's, there's a screw. Might as well do this while you're here. Come on, let's bring you over here, hello. Let's point you down. All right, here is the motherboard. There you are, that's a good view for you. So the, this is the little SSD card next to it. So I'm told it goes in there. So let's open that up. This just came, this little screwdriver came with it. So let's open it up and see. Another one just here. Ah, there we are. Do you see just there? Can you see it? Yeah, just about there. Let's zoom in for you guys. Just there is where this plugs into. So, yeah, just there. It said I had more than one, but I'm only seeing one at the moment. Right, let's zoom you guys out. I'm wondering if that's what this and this is actually. Might as well open it up and have a quick look while I'm here. So, I could have got the more expensive SSD, but it has heatsink. Um, but this is a heatsink. This, there we are. Ah, oh, look there. Yeah, one, two, three. At the moment, I only have one, however, I am going to need two just from the amount of size, that how big these files are that I'm going to be filming, especially the ones coming um, soon, hopefully. <laughs> but we'll find out. All right, um, I actually want to put this in now, so let's get that in. There we are. That's that. All right, I just stopped filming then because this smallest screw, come on camera focus, you can't really see it, but this smallest screw in the world decided to fall on the floor now to crawl around the floor and find it. <laughs> right, so this should very simply screw into there, which it isn't. Very handy. That's because it's this. Even better. Didn't need that screw anyway. <laughs> so there we go, there's that. Right, SSD card is in. Right, so that's piece one. Turns out I didn't need that tiny annoying screw that I crawled around the floor for, but there you are, doesn't matter. So, just lift this up and show you again. 
this, just here, is where I put that little SSD. So now that means I don't need those big bulky SSD drives, they're not that big anymore, um, sticking at the back of my computer, which is good. And, hang on, a bit of peel, peel stuff here, you ready? Let's get that very close to you. Oh, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> um, there's a few other bits down here, but, oh, lovely. Um, but as far as that goes, that's it for now. But as I said, I've got my graphics card, uh, my processing unit coming tomorrow, along with my RAM, so I can get that in and installed because um, they're obviously all one sort of unit there next to each other um, and then it's just waiting on the graphics card and then I can put it into my new case which I will show you probably tomorrow or when my graphics card arrives I'll put it together all in front of you but ooh that's not that is very nice so I was just playing around I noticed that just a little button here any guesses what this does something down here nope it actually does this just here. So when you're struggling to put your graphics card in, can you see that on camera? Hopefully. Yeah, do you see it just moves uh, when you push it in? So it detaches and makes it easier for you to put your graphics card in, which is very kind of them, because that's normally, to be quite honest, a pain. <laughs> but that's it for now. I will catch you in the next 30 seconds when none of the stuff has arrived. But for you, well, for me, it's a day. Right, I just wanted to quickly say hi because the there's been a change of plans. The delivery is arriving sooner than I wanted to, well, than I expected it to, and it's coming today. Um, this is the day after I filmed the motherboard clip. Um, so the graphics card, CPU, and the RAM is all arriving in the next hour. Very, very excited. Been a long time waiting for this, so I'm really hoping it arrives at a decent time, and I'm just ignore the mess but I'm just sorting out everything that I need to do on my old PC but I am very excited for this to finally happen and I will catch up with you in a minute when I've I'm gonna unbox them and put them all together for you so I'll see you then all right so a little bit of a story lighting a story time while this video you know time lapse is behind me um I actually had massive issues with the build after I completed it um, one of them being the motherboard. So annoyingly, after I assembled the computer with the motherboard, the computer did not work. I tried everything to see what the issue was, and it turned out the motherboard's CPU plate, where the actual CPU was mounted, was damaged. The pins were bent from manufacturer when I tried to put the CPU on. Um, so I ordered a new one, which delayed things, of course, annoyingly. The CPU then arrived um, later, um, but it didn't come with thermal paste, which I didn't think it would. It's been a long time since I've ordered CPU paste, uh, well, CPU heatsink, anything. I forgot that you have to order thermal paste separately. Um, very annoying. Um, this arrived on New Year's Eve, and I decided, oh, that'd be a brilliant idea to go and grab some the next day because it was later by the time. Um, it was a brilliant idea. It was not. <laughs> Um, everything on the year bit, New Year's Eve was completely closed. I didn't find anything at all. Um, and then, so I should have realised that, but oh well. This sets things back even further. By the way, the first delivery was on the 30th of December. Um, so fast forward to the 3rd of January. After I've received the mother new motherboard and thermal price was acquired. So I reassembled the PC um, with... The motherboard, the RAM, CPU, processor, um, graphics card, everything. Um, but I managed to get hold of some thermal paste from a local PC repair shop, which is very handy. Um, but after all that, after installing it all, getting it all, turning on for the first time, also an important side note to mention here is that my fans are controlled by software that I have to download after the fact. Um, <laughs> another annoying thing but I've never encountered an issue before because it's never been an issue before so I'll, but I'll come back to that <laughs> um, so after all that the drivers were out of date for the motherboard so 
to install Windows 11, which is this operating software I was going to install, I needed to be connected to the internet. But to connect to the internet, I needed to update the drivers. But I couldn't update the drivers without being connected to the internet. Do you see the issue? <laughs> it, you know, it was one of the things that she kept repeating. Um, so I couldn't download Windows 11 at all. So at that point, after spending, you know, hours sobbing and crying, <laughs> um, I realised I could just use an old piece, an old laptop that I have. Actually, it's my um, company's laptop that I have um, to download Windows 10 because you can download Windows 10 without the Wi-Fi um, onto that laptop as well as the software to control the fans. While I've been trying to, you know, turn on my PC at this point, I've been using a hairdryer on the cool setting to keep the CPU from overheating. So I've been sat here for like 20 to 30 minutes, hours at a time, just trying to keep the CPU cool without overheating and blowing it up. Um, so I decided, all right, I'm going to use the old laptop to install Windows 10 because you can install Windows 10 without Wi-Fi. So I've done that. Um, and then I spent hours and hours and hours. The motherboard got delivered at 2 a.m. at uh, 2 p.m., sorry. And I was still troubleshooting at 12 a.m. the next you know, morning. So after hours and hours and hours of troubleshooting, trying to get the drivers to work, you know, so I could install Windows 10 properly and all the drivers that I needed. It just magically connected. I have no idea how I updated the drivers and do anything. I moved from Ethernet to Wi-Fi, couldn't do anything. And then suddenly at about 10 past 12, it just worked. Not a clue why. Um, but I wasn't complaining. It still works this day, which I'm very happy about. The Wi-Fi works, Ethernet works, so something in the software kind of just booted in, I'm guessing, and now it works. So, you know, to cut a long story short, the £100 laptop, that's, you know, it looks about as cheap as a child's, you know, toy laptop, f f saved my amazing brand new PC that can run games at like 500 frames a second. Moral of the story, always have a backup. <laughs> <laughs> right i just want to talk about the schedule very quickly um so every monday the main channel will get an upload that is embers crucible will get an upload at 6 p.m every monday um every friday i want to stream between 8 p.m and 10 p.m um and then every that will go up on embers crucible games and streaming so embers crucible streams on twitch um, the VOD will be uploaded every Wednesday at about 6pm again for that stream. Um, Saturday, um, that is when I plan on filming my main video um, across the day. Um, and unfortunately, obviously, I can only do one video a week because I'm full-time work. But Sunday is when I upload the vlog that, um, you know, the vlog for Embers, for, sorry, for Cropford Chronicles, which is this channel. So I have three separate channels across my sort of domain, I suppose. Um, and I have Twitch as well as that. All of them linked in the description, all of them linked on the main channel, all of them linked on all of my channels. So you can find them wherever you find me. So yeah, just wanted to clarify that quickly. Hello, I just wanted to do a quick outro. So hopefully if you enjoyed, you know, this video, you can find it here at Crockford Chronicles, which is not directly linked to Ember's Crucible, but it's here as a side for everyone that wants to know a little bit more about me and the process behind it. Um, you have then Ember's Crucible Games, which is where I'm going to be gaming. Um, I also do streaming on Twitch under Ember's Crucible Streams. Um, you can find me once a week there on Fridays. And obviously the main channel, you'll find me once, once a week every Monday um, and that's where I'll be doing my blacksmithing mainly but yeah I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you hopefully soon see you bye